Dancing with God. When we meditated on the word guidance, we kept seeing dance at the end of the word. We remember reading that doing God's will is a lot like dancing. When two people try to lead, nothing feels right. The movement doesn't flow with the music, and everything is quite uncomfortable and jerky. When one realizes that and lets the other lead, both bodies begin to flow with the music. One gives gentle cues, perhaps with a nudge to the back, or by pressing lightly in one direction or another. It's as if two become one body, moving beautifully. The dance takes surrender, willingness and attentive from one person, and gentle guidance, skill from the other. Our eyes draw, drew back to the word guidance. When we saw G, I thought of God, followed by you and I. God, you and I dance. God, you and I dance. Talita, my love, you make me the best person that I ever thought I could be. I am always inspired and amazed of your love and dedication for others, sometimes before yourself. You have made so many sacrifices and have given so much. I promise to give you all of myself for the rest of our lives. You're my life, my world, my best friend, my queen. Mi esposa, I love you. You're the essence of a Jewish home, the center, the anchor, and you demonstrated it today. And I hope that for many years you remember that you are the one who marched around and created this Jewish home on the very first day of your marriage. Now we're going to say a special blessing. And the blessing as it is cost as it is common in the Jewish tradition, always begins with the first blessing, blessing over the wine. Why wine? Because wine, according to the Bible, is a source of joy. And we want to welcome this event with happiness. And the rabbis tell us that everything that is started with happiness has an endurance and lasts. And so, before we say the bracha on your wedding, we, we say the bracha with the wine. And after this, we're going to say a special bracha. Bracha that says that this wedding is not just a relationship between two people, but it is an act of holiness. That God inspired a man and a woman to elevate their relationship to a level of holiness. We say, Mekadesh Amo Israel, who sanctifies the people of Israel precisely through this kind of event. Ali
place an object of his property and the ring of the bride. By doing so, he is saying that I am by this ring consecrating you unto me as all the Jewish homes, all the Jewish husbands have done according to the Moses and Israel tradition. So when she accepts it from Yoni, she's telling us, this is the man I want to share my life with. Does this ring belong to you? Yes. And only to you? So as the ring is round, may it symbolize that your relationship should have no beginning and no end. Querido, eu sonhei com você, eu rezei por você e hoje nos tornamos um só. Nós construímos juntos os nossos planos, nós trouxemos um ao outro a vontade de sermos uma melhor versão de nós a cada dia, apenas para fazer o outro feliz. O seu amor é o maior presente que Deus me deu. Guardarei seu coração aqui dentro, junto ao meu, como o maior dos tesouros. Mal posso esperar pelo nosso feliz para sempre. Hoje é o melhor dia de nossas vidas. Até agora. Te amo. Bezat Hashem will become willing to trust that we would get guidance about our life. Once again, I became willing to let God lead. My prayer for you today is that God's blessings and mercies be upon you on this day and every day. May you abide in God as God abides in you. Dance together with God, trusting God to lead, to guide you through each season of your life. Moments of tears that have to do with building our great privileges. Today, we're going to remember Jerusalem that is destroyed in a way spiritually. Where so many people in our most holy place do not have respect. In the Temple Mount, they play soccer, they eat food. In this holy place, the Jewish people are not able to build a temple. So it is to us a moment that we have to remember Jerusalem in its ruins. Not physically, Jerusalem is a beautiful city, but spiritually is a city that we remember it's not what it should be. And today we remember Jerusalem and we say that when we remember Jerusalem the moment of the wedding, we are aiding to its reconstruction. As the Jews were leaving Jerusalem, led prisoners by the Babylonians, they said, I promise that I will not forget Jerusalem and I will remember it even on the highest moment of joy.
last to remember Jerusalem. <laughs>